surprise. But what were you expecting? Some fairy in a tutu resurrecting? Magic spells and happy endings. No, no, no. I'm your hostess for this evening's show. Carmen Monoxide's her name. Hello. Hello. And this is Russell, my devoted crow. For content up some mischief, wait and see. We're talking grim with a capital G. This village used to be the perfect spot. It's cold enough in winter and then hot in summer so crop could grow and kids could swim in rivers like their parents did. A paradise. Each barnyard had a cow, a pig, some chickens. Anyhow, it's not at all like that today. You'll see. Gone is plenty. Gone is harmony. The last three years have just about wiped out the countryside with floods. Ice, now drought. The verdant fields, once stiff with wheat and rye, are now as hard as stone. Twice as dry. The villagers are in complete despair. There's not a crumb of comfort anywhere. And best of all, there's not a drop of rain in sight. I love it, don't you? Russell. All right, but there's one Pollyanna on the scene who looks on stubble and sees fields of green. His optimism is enough to gag on. But before the show is done, I'll fix his wagon. But listen to my tum tum, bless my heart. I'm leaving out the most important part. Tell the story, it's crystal clear. I need some victims, I mean volunteers. And children would be best. They're always fun. Some peculiar reason there's not one remaining in the village. Can't think why. Raise your hands. Oh, don't be shy. Bit too skinny. Let me have a feel. Too tough? Too old? <laughs> too hard to peel. Come on, people. This can't take all night. Two kids is not a lot to ask, all right? The bouncy girl specs. And you, yes you, come down on stage. I'll tell you what to do. Russell, we need dressers, call the flock. Get in here fast while I take stock. First thing is to lose those tacky togs. Place it with a dirndl and some clogs. Maybe lederhosen for the boy. Off, oh, remove those trousers. Don't be coy. And you, that cap has got to go away. I can't believe what children wear these days. No style, no fashion sense, no save you fair. Just look at that disgusting underwear. Come on, get moving. God, you two are slow. It's lovely people pay to see a show. Some makeup would be nice, but never mind. This will have to do. We haven't got the time. Okay, you're almost dressed. Now stand in the wings. Try not to panic if you're asked to sing. Don't worry, this is going to be a treat. And in act two, you'll get a lot to eat. One more word, then I have to go. Leave those cell phones off and enjoy the show. Good morning, Good morning Papa. Papa. Come, my precious jewels, give me a kiss. I must be up. Where are you going, Papa? Into town, it's market day. But why? We haven't got any money to buy anything, and we haven't got anything left to sell. And why are you in your best clothes? What a lot of questions. Grandma, my dear, what about a special little soup for dinner tonight? But there's nothing left but an old onion. That and some water and a little imagination will have a delicious onion soup. But Papa... Try to stay warm, my dears, and don't get too hungry. And when I come back, I promise I'll bring you a wonderful surprise. A surprise? What kind of surprise? Well, something we've all been needing and wanting for a long time now. Promise. You know me, a promise is a promise. Now be good. We will. Don't play with matches. We won't. Don't stick beans up your nose. We don't have any beans. Take care of your sister, Hansel. I will. And be good as gold. Remember, you're my treasures, my most precious treasures. I'll be back before home with our surprise. Goodbye. A surprise? Golly, what have we been needing and missing for a long time? Everything. I'll bet it's a hen, a sweet fancy hen, who'll bring us an egg every morning. Or maybe a rooster who'll crow in the yard and tell us when each day's starting. That just like
like a girl, how dumb can you be? A scrawny old bird with a brain like a pea That wakes up each day at a quarter to three Is that what you'd call a surprise? Do you have a better idea? What we need is a dog, a good old hound dog Who'd fall on me round on my rambles Chase foxes and hares right out of their lairs And flush out the quail and the brambles Bang! Utterly stupid. Anyway, one mad cow around the house is enough. What did you call me? I called you a mad cow. Like a boy, it's I've just done like a girl. A slobbery cow, and, and you'd have to agree. If you die of starvation, then where would we be? Is that what you call a surprise? Just give me a hen, a dog, a cow, whatever, whatever it is I want it now. It'll be more for me than for you anyhow. When Papa, Papa brings home his surprise. Look at you, getting all excited over nothing. Me? Just stop talking about it. Honestly, girls are so stupid. <laughs> Cry, baby. I'm going fishing. I'm coming. No, you're not. I am too. No, I said, and don't follow me either. I'm hungry. Well, so am I. Now go home. I, I am home. Well, stay there. You were supposed to take care of me. I'm going to tell. Tattletail. <laughs> Well, that's good. Hi, kids. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. I, I said hi, kids. Hi, What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? One more time. Hi, kids. Hi, Tom. Is, is that Will I see out there? R raise your hand. Oh, good. Uh, Taylor, Andy, Sandy, Hermione Granger? No. Have you guys met my children, Gretel and Hansel? They're awfully sweet children for the most part. Gretel's a peach, usually. Hansel's moody all the time because he's a growing boy and he's always hungry. In fact, the entire village is always hungry. I just don't get it. I mean, look at me. Do I look hungry? Do I? Absolutely not. And I'll give you three good reasons. Mice, gophers, and rats. Okay, okay. They're not as plump as they used to be, but we should all cut down on our fats. You say, Tom, people just aren't as good as hunting as you are, which is true, but don't I leave them some choice tidbit on the kitchen floor every morning? The gizzard, or uh, maybe just the teeth and the tail, which, to be honest, aren't my favorite parts, but, but do they take advantage of my offerings? Do they? Absolutely not. And another thing, they're always complaining about not having enough water to bathe with. Watch this. I mean, really, it's so simple. You think, okay, now I know I hear crying. Can you tell me who it is? Gretel. Gretel? Where is she? In the kitchen. In the kitchen? Gretel, is that you? What's the matter, Tootsie Pop? Oh, Tom. Once to the market this morning, I'll go so many problems with presents and toast and lunch with beans up her nose and then I got all excited about the spreads that Hansel made fun of me and called me stupid and went fishing and told me to stay home all by myself all day long. Oh. I see. 
He never takes me anywhere anymore, and he never wants to play, and he calls me a crybaby. And I am not a crybaby. Of course you're not. Why is he so mean to me? Because he's a growing boy, and he's hungry all the time. That makes him moody. You just need to learn how to stand on your own two feet. I can't. I'm not smart enough or pretty enough or anything enough. And Papa's the only one who loves me, and he, that's only because he has to. What about me? Am I chopped liver? I love you. You don't? I do. I absolutely do. I think you're perfect. Yes, you're absolutely perfect. You know the way to brighten up my day. You're better silk, a bowl of milk, a cat's meow, Purina chow, you're perfect to me. And you're amusing, yes, you're endlessly amusing. You're everything that makes this feline sing. You're scratching post, sardines on toast, a friendly pat, a tasty rat. You're perfect to me. There may be cats who prefer someone wrapped in fur with a little nose in the air. But I'm one of those guys who can recognize class beyond compare. That's why you're perfect. Yes, you're absolutely perfect. They broke the mold or they cast you in gold. Your nice clean paws, your shopping claws, cream cheese and locks, a little box. You're perfect to me. Let me give you a tickle under the chin. Oh, no, you don't. I go all weak at the knees. Come on. One tickle. No, it's so juvenile. I'm not a kid tickly, anymore. Tickly, tickly, tickly. No. I, I, I think someone's calling me. Look at, look at the time. I, I have an appointment. Hello. Oh. Hello. Is Papa home? Oh, I don't know. Tom and I were having so much fun. Let's see all the fish you've caught. Gretel, let me ask you something. Seriously, who do you like better, Papa or Tom? But Tom's our cat and Papa's our Papa. So? I love them both. You can't love them both exactly the same. You won't tell anyone. I cross my heart. Well, Papa's awfully nice, but he can be so foolish sometimes. And Tom is so smart, and he's so awfully cozy to curl up with. So, you love Tom more, just a tiny bit more? Wait till I tell Pa. You won't. You said you wouldn't. You cross your heart. Cross my fingers, too. Cheater! Think I see him now. Liar! Do. See? <clears throat> Please, are you forgetting the surprise I told you about? You mean, there is one? I'll say. my darling. Look what I brought you. The surprise I promised you. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? A stepmother. Oh, let me go get your things. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> what a dump. This is our surprise. Who the heck are you? Oh, and Juana, my dear, these are my own two children. Gretel, Hansel. Children. You didn't mention you had children. But I'm sure I did. I don't think so. 
But I'm sorry, oh well, what does it matter? We're all meeting each other now. Children, where are your manners? Go and say hello to your new mama. Mama? Mama? Ma mama? Heavens, darling, that won't do. Don't call me mama, call me Ivana. Ivana be sweet, <laughs> that's me. I wanna be sweet It's so nice to meet How very nice to have a family all complete Ready made And how do you do? Are you surprised too? You're not deep oh, forgot to mention he had you I wanna be your best friend and your brand new mother. I bet you'll soon forget that you had any other. I wanna be sweet. Two kids, what's a treat? I'd have to say you both look good enough to eat. Chubby cheeks. you to my little poochie. He hardly ever snuffs, now give him a nice smoochie. Take my sins to the bedroom, darling. Come eat pity poo. Come on, pity poo. Say, how do you do? The part that's pitbull is protective. Yes, it's true. Shame on you. He's part poodle, too. But if I were you, I wouldn't pet pity poo yet. That wouldn't do. Ivana's absolutely famished, so let's eat. Ivana be sweet. Ivana be sweet. Was it? That was it. Times have been hard all around, my dear. We don't have much food. No food. So that's easy. Sell so some of your treasures. Buy some food. Treasures? Treasures. The ones you are telling me about. Ah, my treasures. These are my treasures. These are children. Where are your treasures? They are my treasures. These are your treasures. We may be poor and have little to be eat and be cold all the time, but we'll have each other. Isn't it wonderful? Children, your father and I need to have a little chat. Bedtime! <laughs> or maybe I'll let Pity Poo down to play with you. Good, Good night. night! Come on, Pity Poo, time to go night night. Good night, my treasures. Now, my husband, when I met you last week in the market, you told me you had treasures at home. By that you meant... The children. So your treasures are... The children. And the jewels, am I to conclude that you were referring to... The children. So you have no gold tucked away? They're good as gold. No other gold? Sorry. A gem or two? Don't! Say the children! I'm afraid not. Can you believe this guy? Seriously. I'm sorry, Ivana, my dear, if there's been any confusion. I confess, I'm confused about one teensy thing. How are we going to eat? I'll go into the forest and chop lots of wood, and you and the children will go and scour the countryside for wild nuts and roots and berries to eat. OK, I have another idea. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, we all go deep into the forest. When the children are very tired, we will let them go to sleep. Then. You will lead me out to the forest, and we will come back here and have our supper. Table for two, please. But the children, how will they find their way out? They won't. Two of us just might manage, but four of us will surely starve. But my children, you can't ask me to leave them. Anyway, 
I'm sure they'll find someone much better off than we are to take them in. They're such uh, delightful children. A man must take care of his children. A man must take care of his wife. You promised. You promised just today to honor and obey. I must get my own way or I'll die. Remember what you vowed. Don't make me say out loud that more than two of the crowds we deploy. I can't see why you keep complaining. Kids are hardly ever entertaining. Don't lose ground that you could be gaining. A promise is a promise to me. See, think what joy of a recent quiet. Just us two, it would be a riot. Just say yes, you know you want to try it. A promise is a promise to me. See, a promise is a promise to me. I want to my darling, my sweetheart, my wife. I don't think you realize my children are my life. The heat of the moment can catch men off guard. I want to my darling, you can't be so hard. I was foolishly misled by everything you said. I thought that I'd be fed and in style. I've been in scrapes before. I don't want any more in store being such a bore after all. Don't you? Did you hear that? We'll be taken into the forest and we'll never find our way home. Papa would never do that. I'm sure he wouldn't. Of course, he wouldn't. I'm, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't. He will. He will. I know he will. What, what are, are we going, going to do? do? Wait, I have to think. Maybe if we... Hush. All right. I'll sneak out into the forest and find stones that shine in the moonlight. And I'll fill my pockets with them. Then tomorrow morning, we'll drop them along the way, and when it gets dark, we can follow them home. I'll help you. No, you won't. You'll just get in the way. Stay here. What was that? Pretty poo, what's the matter, little strudel? You can sleep with Papa and me tonight. <laughs> oh, what a naughty boy, aren't you? Aren't you? Okay, I have another idea. When we get our piece of bread for t tomorrow, we'll save them and drop crumbs along the way. Then when it gets dark, we can follow them home. I'm always so hungry. Do we have to save our bread? Can I eat half and save the rest? Won't that be enough to drop? Yes, no, no. Oh, all right. But Hansel? Hush. Hansel, sing me that song our mother used to sing us when we couldn't sleep. I don't remember it. Yes, you do. I know you do. Please, I'm too frightened. Don't be a baby. Please, Hansel. Oh, all right. Close your eyes, go to sleep, night is soft as a petal. Find a dream you want to keep, and drift away, drift away, Gretel. Breezes sigh, stars go by, owls find a tree top and settle. Can't you hear the lullaby as you drift away, drift away, Gretel? Drifting, dreaming, moonlight streaming. Gleaming Milky Way Drifting, dreaming, starlight streaming Worries slip away Hold on tight through the night Morning will lighten our sorrow We must wish with all our might That things will be better
you say? <laughs> Not one thing. I just turned tail and bounced out the window. <laughs> they just don't get it, do they? No. no one does it. You know what they tried to feed me just now? Kibble. <laughs> no chicken livers tonight, magic. Times are hard. Times are hard indeed. We'll give them a hard time. If she thinks I'm going to eat that dried up old gravel, she's got another thing coming. Meow, 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 meow. Glamourpuss is coming out to play. Mew, 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 mew. Won't be home until the break of day. Sweetheart, next. But I go on. It will give you something to really cry about. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat, scared cat, you be afraid of a baby rat. rat. Hey there, pussy. What the fuck's up? We just had to get rid of some stray. You should have seen her. For every which way. Worn out old flea collar. Skinny too, and you know what that means. Worms! Come on, girls. Don't be catty. <laughs> so, what's on for tonight? Sleek stuff. Come on, girls. You know what I like. I'll dust off, off my tail. You slip on your slinky gown. This life's a merry-go-round. So let's go catting around. We might catch a sleepy gopher under the ground. The stars are rushed to astound. So let's go catting around, catting around. You'll always find me catting around. No joy on earth can be found. They're just catting around. He's the kind of cat. Found. They're just catting around. Say goodbye to your blues when the moon is rising. They're advertising. Nice to be found. Take a page from the Take book I have, the have been writing. It's so inviting. Catting yeah. around.
Can you hear the sea of rhythmic welcome and drown? No joy on earth can be found, not when cat around. All this caterwauling makes the forest resound. Oh, don't you be an old hound. And let's go cat around. Oh, you girls go on ahead. I'll be there in half a tick. <laughs> What's going on here? You were chasing her, weren't you? He was, wasn't he, kids? <sighs> chasing a poor thing like her? So rude. Really unbearable. <laughs> Just a grisly behavior. <laughs> now, now, no need for that. But I must tell you, this club is for cats only. <laughs> Miss? Miss? Oh no, she's fainted. Er, let me get this thing off. Oh, this is terrible. She's almost catatonic. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, let me get this thing off. Miss? <coughs> oh, thank you. Here, have some catnip. What's your name? Kitten. Kitten? Kitten. Kitten Caboodle. Oh, uh, you look like you've been through a pretty rough time. Oh, I have. I've lost my family. I've been traveling for days searching for them, never eating, hardly sleeping. No wonder you're so thin. Oh, yes. You didn't think I had. Oh, no. Never came to mind. My family's been very good to me. I've had all my shots and everything. Well, here. I was saving them for breakfast, but, uh, plenty more where that came from. Oh, I couldn't. No, you can't. Listen, sun's almost up. I got some folks at home waiting for me. You know how it is. Oh, sure. Thanks again. Tom. Thanks again, Tom, for everything. Good luck finding your family. Goodbye, Tom. picnic minus the food <laughs> won't that be fun uh, I, I think I feel sick me too well then maybe we could cancel the picnic. may I talk to you in private Tom where have you been all night oh here and there what's up okay so I haven't heard a single thing you've just said, partly because you're both talking at the same time, and partly because the hair on my back is standing up on end so much, I can't even think straight. I'll be right back. Don't go in, don't go in there. What do you mean, don't go in? <laughs> what is that? That's, That's what, what we were trying to tell you. What was that? Did someone upset Pity Poop? Where on earth did this mangy creature come from? That's our cat, Tom. He's not mangy. Oh, 
I do beg your pardon, my mistake. Come here and have a nice piece of bread for breakfast. Nothing like a brisk walk in the woods to work up an appetite. Come on, you two, march! Hut, hut, hut! Scram, mouse breath, and don't you ever come back! Mouse breath? Do I have mouse breath? I, I brush every day. I, I get regular checkups. I, I don't floss as often as I should. I hardly ever floss. Oh dear. Why am I getting myself so worked up? Who is this lady? I want to be sweet anyways. I want to be mean. I want to be rude. I want to be... Do any of you have an outswin? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not staying where I'm not wanted. I've had three or four lives already, and in not a single one of them did I say my welcome. Hey, kids will miss me, but they got someone else to help them forget. I can find a new home just like that. Still it was perfect. I'll admit that it was perfect. This tomcat's never known such a cozy home. It was a goldfish bowl, a juicy mole, a ball of yarn, a musty bun, just perfect for me. children stay here and have a nice rest while your father and I will go over there and chop lots of wood. Goodbye, my treasures. Goodbye, Goodbye Papa. I remember the ways that I love you. Oh, hold the waterbirds. We're only going over there. Did you drop your breadcrumbs? Yes, I'm so hungry. Never mind about that. We'll rest here for a minute. Then we'll follow the breadcrumbs home. Then we have to stay awake. All right. No sleeping. I won't. Don't close your eyes. You either.
fell asleep. Me? What about you? Okay, okay, we both did. Gretel, I, I just had a terrible dream. There's all this flapping and calling and... Oh no, it was true. The breadcrumbs are gone. Now I'll never find a way home. If only Tom were here, he'd know what to do. Tom! Tom Cat! Tommy! 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 He can't hear us. We're just going to have to make a start. Breadcrumbs, I can't believe how stupid I have been. Don't say that, Hansel. You've done your best. My best? How can you? Hush! What? Listen, can't you hear it? Try the roof, try the roof. It seems funny hitting someone's roof. But it's candy. Like a mouse, who is nibbling at my house? Caught you in the act, you naughty things. We're sorry. We were so hungry. We didn't think. We didn't know anyone lived here. I'll try to fix your room. Dear children, I was only joking. I love it when hungry children come and nibble on my cottage. And there are so many hungry children wandering around these days. What are your names? I'm Hansel, and this is my sister. Even Gretel, how nice. How did you know my name? Tada, did I? It's been a very popular name this year. Tiffany, Brittany, Dakota, Gretel. Now your children look tired and hungry. I'd like to keep you here and fatten you up. Here, have another shingle. We're pretty full for now, really. A little sorbet, cleanse the palate? Thanks anyway, but we must try to find a way home. Of course. But if I might just beg one small favor of you. Sure. I have a little pet hen that's got lost somewhere. My eyesight isn't very good, so I can't see her. I think she's hiding in the old nest there. Would you call in and see? I don't see anything. Here, chick, chick, chick. Go a little further, dear. She may be nesting in the straw. I don't see anything. Vandal, eat my real estate, will you? Just for that, I'm going to eat you. Ah! Help, let me go. What are you doing? I'll teach you, miserable brats. Ah, there, that's better. As for you, gawky girl, you could fetch water and black the stove and chop kindling and sweep the floors. You brought worse your brain, stick out your finger. Let me see how fat you are. Oh, just as I thought, way too skinny, probably tough as old boots. I'm gonna have to keep you here until you're as plump and juicy as a Christmas goose. You're not really going to eat him, are you? You're not eating, are you? Of course I'm going to eat him, just as soon as he's ready. Then I'm going to fatten you up and eat you too. Right now you wouldn't even qualify as an appetizer. <laughs> but you can't just go around eating children. Children are supposed to be cared for and protected and loved. But I do love children. Right. You hag, you horrible old hag. What did he call me? I shouldn't say. Tell me or I'll breathe all over you. A hag. A horrible old hag. I know it's not polite, but it's true. You're a hideous, horrible old hag. 
Go on, tell me some more. I won't eat you. Oops, never mind. I take that back. You're an old witch. Ah, that's telling me. And I thought you two had no spirit. Would you be inclined to call me a swine? Yes. Yes. A louse, perhaps? Yes, yes. And, and every bad name you can think of. Oh, really, children? Can't you be more specific? These are my crow conspirators, Caustic, Cotter, Cauliflower, and Russell. They'll be keeping an eye on you. But now it's time for Betty Bye. This is in case you get the munchies in the middle of the night. Sleep tight. You too, puny pants. I'm putting you to work tomorrow, my girl. Nighty night. Oh, Gretel, I know you're only a girl, but pull as hard as you can on these bars. I can't, and she's got the key around her neck. Oh, what are we going to do? Shoo! This straw, I'm so cold and this straw's damp and moldy. Wait, I have an idea. Excuse me. Excuse me what? <sighs> Excuse me, you hideous, horrible, hideous old hag. That's better. Now what do you want? Hansel is shivering with cold and so am I. If you want us to gain weight, you better keep us warm. Should we want loose on your pillows next? Oh, Gretel, if she feeds me every day, I can't help but get fatter. But I have to eat. I'm hungry all the time. I have another idea. Eat all you like, but every day when she has to feel your finger, stick one of those old chicken bones out through the bars. Her eyesight is so bad, she'll never know. I didn't know you had so many ideas. Neither did I. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't take, um, I'm as hard as our lives have been as well, disappointing as Papa's been from time to time, I still want to live. We can only go back to our little cottage and everything could be the way it was. We thought we were poor, but we weren't. We never knew how rich we were. We thought that we were threadbare and poor. It's true we hadn't much, but Papa's kindly touch was always meant to Could we know? 
Here. I'm, I'm homeless. homeless. Me, Me too. too. But I thought you had a home. I did, but I couldn't stay there. Not under the circumstances. Oh, <coughs> you poor thing. <coughs> Hairballs. How could I have sunken so low? <laughs> oh, Tom, I hate to see you like this. You're so strong and lively and clever. You land on your feet. Look at me. When I first lost my home, I was so lonely, I used to cry myself to sleep every night. But I got used to it after a while. I got used to being on my own, with no one to pet me or call kitty, 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 or scratch me under the chin or make me purr, give me scraps from the table. I don't mind being starved for affection all the time. We cats are independent. That's what they say. I got used to being astray, and so will you. <laughs> Is, is that what we are? S straight? <laughs> I I beg your pardon. Oh, me too. Um, uh, um under the knee, my downfall. Me too. So juvenile. Still, no harm done. Not in the world. Well, I better be off. Oh, me too. I haven't tried that direction yet. Funny we should keep meeting like this. Isn't it? Well, best of luck. You too. Kin. Yeah? Well, I was just thinking. What? If we're going to be strays, we might as well be strays together. That way, we wouldn't be strays. We would have each other. I'm not saying this very well. What I mean is... Stay, baby, stay. Together, we'll make a fine duo. Don't be a stray. We'll be better off if we're too low. You be your home for me. Stay, kitten, do. Mom, you're just saying that. What are you playing at? You're not naive. You know I've been quite a rover. You must believe I've got a new leaf to turn over. Come take my part, man. I'll promise to be true. So stay, kitten, stay. Kitten do. You're such a hot kitten. Don't buy the nut kitten. You're awfully nice. A cat I have come to admire. You gave me mice when I was so hungry and tired. I'd love to take a chance.
Gingerbread jam and a Diet Coke. Eat up, eat up. Next meal's on the way. Excuse me. Excuse me, you bloated old bag. <laughs> but if you've got so much food, why do you want to eat children? Why do I, my dear girl? A diet of nothing but sweets should be ruinous to my health. Don't you know about the four basic food groups? Cake, candy, cigarettes, and children. Now get to work. Here, quick. I saved you a cinnamon bun. <laughs> Nasty old thing. Hansel, listen. Put out your hand. It's beginning to rain. The drought's over. You're right. It's, it's raining, raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Did you do that? Of course. I've been doing that every day for a year. You mean, you're responsible for the drought? I'm afraid I am. What about the year did nothing but rain? You couldn't stop it then. My dear boy. Last year I said, rain, rain, be a pain, choke the river, flood the plain. What about the year after that, when everything froze? I shouldn't be giving away all my secrets, but since I'll be eating you too soon, this is one of my finest jingles. Snow, ice, please the skeezer, make the world like a deep freezer. I had to get out my rhyming dictionary for that one. What about next year? Now, that would be telling you, wouldn't it? But if you have any good rhymes for ozone, I'd be ever so grateful. <laughs> oh no, she's so powerful she can change the weather. We don't stand a chance. Apple pie a la mode, lemon mousse with whipped cream, double fudge brownies, for dessert, tutti frutti ice cream with coconut sprinkles. Eat up, eat up. I can. You don't like coconut sprinkles? No. I just can't eat anymore. Let me feel your finger. Not again. Still too bony. I just don't get it. We'll have to try harder. Don't you realize there are children wandering around all over this forest, including your own sister? Don't you want to be part of the clean play club? Now eat. You can't force him to eat. Wanna bet? I'm getting pretty fed up with you two. Fed up, get it? <laughs> I'll eat twice as much tomorrow, I promise. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow! Okay, I'm such a softie. That's for you, skin shins. You better get some sleep. Tomorrow we're going deep into the forest and collecting wood. Lots of it, building a big fire in the clay oven. Nighty night. She's suspicious, I know she is. Don't say that, Hansel. We'll think of something. I'm sorry I didn't take you fishing with me, Gretel. I promise I will if we ever get home. 
Yeah, Hansel, you mustn't lose hope. One, we'll think of something, and then one day we'll be back home with Tom and Papa and, well, with Tom and Papa. For now, try to sleep. I can't. I'm too frightened. Close your eyes, go to sleep, all your miseries cancel. Find a dream you want to keep, and drift away, drift away, Hansel. Hold on tight through the night, morning will lighten our sorrow. So we must wish with all our might, that things right will be better tomorrow. I was a fool letting you go, she was so cruel, how could I know? dream about Papa last night. So did I. He was looking for us. <laughs> Go away. What are you doing? Go away. What's the matter? Leave one of you. Two? Is that what you're saying? Two crows? Two birds? Oh, two words. First word. Sounds like Vomit, opera, Hamlet, sick. First word sounds like sick. Tick, stick, lick, wit, wicker, wicked. Second word sounds like smell, bell, tell, help me, well, sell. Spell? Spell! Wicked spell? Is that what you're saying? The witch put you under a wicked spell? Okay, break it up. Break it up. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Nothing. Don't lie to me. Um, I was trying to eat some of Hansel's food. They caught me. My crow conspirators, what would I do without you? Now go put more on the, one of the fire dinky drawers. You, stick out your finger. Let me see how fat you are. Still too bony? Stick it out further, further. Aha, either you part with your fingers very easily or you've been tricking me. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry, ha. Children today, you give them a place to live and wonderful food to eat, and how they are paid. They lie, they cheat, they don't clean their plates. And did I hear one thank you? I did not. Now let me feel your finger, your real finger. Ah, that's better. Better. Gretel, is that fire ready yet? No, not yet. Well, go put more wood on, for heaven's sake. In the meantime, Time. Hansel in the half shell? Hansel with Hollandaise? Hot and sour Hansel? Hansel McNuggets! I can't help but snooze through Bier Bocuse and Julia Child's just a little too wild. But I never tire of looking through the good old joy of cooking. I could bake him or broil him or braise him, or thrust him headfirst in the pie. The crust can be tricky, it tends to get sticky, and then the whole dish goes awry. I could fry him with garlic and onion, or sizzle him up with a leek, or gently saute him, or even flambe him, the fancy business in cheek. Who can say the best way when the boys in entree it gets my creative juices flow? Oh, oh. Wing ho, don't look so blue now. I'll cook you well too now. And do it with gusto and feeling. Don't just sit there sulking. Let's kick it up a notch. Bam! I 
could skin or stuff them or smoke them. Or maybe just roast them till done with a sausage and creamy. Or maybe just sashimi with chopsticks and sake. What fun! I could poach him with one of some parsley. Or just put him into a stew with spuds and the claret. Some stock and some carrot. That's something comforting too. Who can say the best way when the boys in on trade get my creative juice to flow? Oh, oh, wing it always takes some time to do something sublime. I'll invite the whole coffin, then Hansel I'll shove in. Just make sure that oven is glowing. like looking at recipes to work up an appetite. Gretel, is that fire ready yet? I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? Find out, skinny shins. <laughs> How? Just open the door and put your head in, you stupid cow. I mean, really. You have to tell them everything. I'm not sure what you mean. You see what I mean? No initiative, no problem-solving skills at all. Just open the door and put your head in the oven. If your bangs frizzle, it's hot. We don't get home ec until <sighs> junior high. Puff. Then, as usual, I have to do everything myself. Now watch this. Yes, it's nice and hot. Are you sure? He's quite a big boy. Well, of course I'll... Maybe you're, maybe you're right. Should I go in a little further? Yes. Yes what? Yes, you, you horrible old hag. I can hear you. Yes, yes you horrible old hag. A little further? Yes, yes you horrible old hag. Poof, wait, that's toasty. What did I tell you? It's perfect. Good. I did? You did. The witch is dead. The witch is dead. The witch is dead. The witch is dead. What a smart, brave, clever girl you are. I am? I am. I'm smart. I'm really smart. I'm so smart. She's smart. She's so smart. But there's only one more thing. What? We still don't know how to get home. Oh, no. If only Tom was here, he'd know what to do. Tom! 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 Brady can't hear us. We'll just have to try harder. Wait, will you help us call Tom? Yeah! You will? Yeah. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Tom! Tom! He may be very far away. Let's try again, even louder. One, two, three. Tom! Let's try again, one more time, as loud as you can. One, two, three, Tom! Hello, my kitties. Tom, you he found, found us. us! Well, I uh, heard the call of the wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> may I introduce to you Miss Kitten Caboodle, my fiance. Fiance? Hello, kitten. <laughs> now, now, no need for alarm. This is our traveling companion, Barely Civil. Hello, Barely. Hello, Barely. What a very interesting piece of domestic architecture. Go on, Go on help, help yourself. What's going on now? Go! Go! Take it home to Papa. Papa, Papa. Oh, how, how are we ever going to find our way home? Well, actually, finding the way home has always been a particular feline specialty. You just need to make a start. Step, step by step, stone by stone, one at a time will soon be home. No way can be too wrong if you repeat this song. Tigers, sweet. When you've got some.
Now, girls, this is my this is my friend, barely. If oh, you yeah. say so. Tom, where have you been? We've been to you. <coughs> the old mouse and you. Oh, look, girls, it's that flea bitten stray again. No, no, girls, this kitten here to stay. Stay, kitten, stay. This story should end with the wedding. Wedding? You be the bride. I'll give you half of my bedding. Bedding? You have a new home now. So come on and say I do. I do. This queer kitten, dear, I love you. Children! Papa, we're home! Somehow. Can you ever forgive me? We missed you. I never stopped looking for you. Where have you been? We got lost in the woods. And then we came to this house that was all made of candy. And we met an old witch who seemed to be nice, but, but she, she wasn't. wasn't. Anyway, to cut long story short, Tom found us and showed us the way home. By the way, where is your wife? Gone. Gone forever. I'm afraid she was interested only in my treasures, and I have none. None but my dearest children. But we do. We found gold in the witch's house. Plenty for everyone. We'll never be poor again. But we were never really poor in the first place. We just didn't know it. We never knew how rich we were. How could we know what we had? Now we're safe and sound Look at what we found The goodness we were blind to before We never knew how rich we were And now we found our way We'll treasure every day So grateful just to be In such good company